It's 1.15 in the morning on July 5th. The first order of business is... It's kind of funny that the answers that I got for my question on the last video is that none of you are from the U.S. Or at least nobody who commented as of right now is from the U.S. And I just think that's really funny. Um, it's really surprising how many people, how widespread things can can go when you have internet and technology and other such things. But that's just really cool to me. And I'm okay with that. I'm glad you had fun shredding on your guitar or playing games or working or whatever it is that you do. And that's that's great. I'm happy for you. I hope you had a great July 4th, even if it wasn't your country's birthday. But, yeah, it's cool. So... Woke up today, it's one of those weird wake-ups where you're just kind of like, ah, I don't want to do anything, ah. and so that's how I woke up, but I slowly gained traction on my life throughout the day, and ended up, what did I do? Oh yeah, so I didn't have anything to do for the fourth, and I'm American, so it's like, oh, you, cliche things that you do is you go to a barbecue, you eat hamburgers and hot dogs, and, I mean, other people would be drinking too, but, and then fireworks, and that's just what people do, but since my brother's gone, my sister and her fiancé were out doing a thing, my parents and little sister and the dog are in Spokane doing fireworks out there. They offered for me to come too, but I'm... I don't like, I don't think it would be worth it to do a five hour car ride just to come back the next day. So, yeah, be that as it may. So I didn't really have anything to do. So I was sitting there like watching some recommended anime from YouTube while it was super sunny outside and I was like, ah, oh, I'm retarded, gotta get up, ah, oh, do stuff, ah. Oh. And then I just got a message from this random person that I know I'm going to go to school with this year. and. She's like, hey, you should come to my family's barbecue. And it's like, okay, why not? I mean, might as well. So I got to meet some new people. It was interesting. It was funny. Uh, I'm not going to expound on it, but... <laughs> I did leave uh, after about an hour of that. Okay. Sorry. Phone's dying. Because of how much stuff I did today. So after I did that, came home, hung out for maybe a half hour. Homeboy next door came over and was like, hey, what's up, bro? And I was like, what's up? And then he's like, yo, we hitting that Celebration Park? And I was like, dang straight. And so we got in the car, go over to Celebration Park. It's just this park that everybody goes to on the 4th. And so there's just tons of people, just tons and they're all just like sitting there <laughs> with their with their stupid little like lawn chairs and their their what is it their blankets and jazz and I don't know it was fun we walked around some guy was following us that was weird I don't like people like that and then we watched fireworks and it was gnarly and I didn't take any pictures or videos or anything because there's enough of those out on the internet to go watch but still it was a good time it was a good time I'm glad I did it. And then I came home and had a little bonfire with next door homeboy. And that was nice. I appreciated that. We had some deep conversations, talked about fire, talked about life and marriage and that kind of thing. And it was, it was good. And now I'm here. I'm debating whether or not to watch Braveheart, which is a very good movie. But I think I won't, simply because sleep, because it is 1.19 in the morning. So, yeah, hope you had a great day. I had a good day. We should, well, I don't know. I'm not going to say we should hang out to everybody, but I don't know. How about this? I would talk to you at a bonfire. I would sit there, cross the flames, and we would chat about deep things. And, yeah. So, I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to wash the smoky smoke out of my clothing. And then fall into the midst of the dreams of sleep and stuff. Anyways, have a good night.